Hi, this is Jonathan. How are you guys doing? Today, we're going to feature this beautiful guitar from Pauletti. This is a Pauletti Stratospheric Loft in Fire Mist Green.
If you're new to this channel, and we just want to subscribe to this channel, all right, and uh, press that bell for notification of future videos and be part of the patrons to support this channel. I would appreciate it. I want to thank Amiya Singapore, especially Mel and Moose, for passing me this guitar from Pauletti. Now, Amiya is the uh, sole distributor for Pauletti in, 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 uh, in our region, in Singapore. Um, this is the Stratospheric Loft in Fire Mist Green. All right, this is a really unique color, which I really love. Uh, well, Pauletti, as you all might know, uh, they are an Italian company. And I think they use or still do uh, own a vineyard. So these bodies are made for 130 plus years uh, old chestnut cask, you know, which was, was used to store the, uh, the wine. So they have um, recycled this and uh, used it for uh, guitars, which I think is a really, really, really great idea. And the fact is that these are really old uh, casks. They have these grains that are really unique uh, to Pauletti guitars, you know. And basically you have the chestnut uh, body, 130 plus years old chestnut body, uh, reclaimed, right? And you have a Canadian uh, roasted maple neck. Now, guitar features a power ferro fretboard with a fret radius of 12 inch with abalone inlays and a medium C neck profile really easy to play. Features also a bone nut with a 42mm width and these are the Klusen Deluxe Tuners right? and a string tree. Here you will find uh, the famous Pauletti uh, brass uh, pickguards. You know, these are like different components to it. Uh, basically there are two or three pieces of here. It also features the uh, uh, Pauletti uh, OEM um, uh, tremolo system, which I think is really easy to play, stays in tune really well, has a nice sustain to it. And of course the shotgun shells are uh, knobs, one volume, two tones, like a normal Strat, uh, five-way pickup selector. And these are the Pauletti 60s uh, single call. They are basically 7.5k and equal 5 pickups. Um, not much of a high output, but you know, medium output, really nice sounding, really really pristine and, 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 and uh, how should, actually, actually I dare say pure, but you know, really pristine and pure, right? Uh, and if you were to set it to the last pickup and when you're hitting the overdrive uh, mode, yeah, it, it still delivers that punch. I kind of like these pickups a lot. Now the electronics of this guitar features a CTS port of uh, 250K. The knobs are easy to manipulate, right? Here you have the the neck joint with the Pauletti uh, brand and a back plate of brass. I really like the way this guitar is, like, you know, in different angles, it shines differently. So it emits a different sort of a hue every time you look at it. Uh, this fire is green, but I, I see more silver than anything else. You know, there's a whole lot of dashes of silver around. And I think the, the whole look of this is really, really nice. Of course, you have the famous grain here, which I was talking about in my uh, John Cole uh, signature model. And this is less apparent because on a, on a, on a Telecaster, you have a flatter side, so it's more apparent. But you can still see that grain here, like, you know, the wings of a feather of an angel. Yeah, right here, really nice. Cool. So, now this guitar. Now, I've, I've um, reviewed another... Uh, single, single, single uh, Pauletti uh, Stratospheric before. And uh, this plays a little bit different. And I find that this guitar 
has a different character to it. You know, I, I believe that every chestnut body and every guitar made by a manufacturer does not sound the same. You know, they all have their little uh, idiosyncrasies and characteristics to them. So this sounds a little, if I, if I remember correctly, this sounds a little bit different. I find that this one has a little bit more um, clarity to it, especially on the neck pickup. And again, uh, when you're hitting the uh, the last bridge pickup, the, sing the single core 60s, uh, 7.5 and Eco 5 pickups, uh, on a on a bridge position, it sounded great in overdrive, and even like you know, if you're if you're playing it uh, without it being plugged in, the guitar is really resonant. Now the thing about the Paul Eddie guitars that uh, it's really resonant um, without plugging the guitar into any amp. It just sounds good, and it's always a rule of thumb. Uh, there was there was uh, um, an advice given to me by an old guitarist that if you were to uh, look for a real good guitar, it has to sound good acoustically and thereby translates really well when you plug into an amp or to any uh, source of input. And I think he's right. The guitar sounds fabulous uh, on the recordings that I did. Uh, even when I'm just playing and noodling with it, it just sounds great and easy. Right? This, this neck is the same as my uh, signature uh, model, except that I have a reverse headstock. But yeah, we will talk about that later on, uh, about why I, I, I decided on the reverse head stock. Um, maybe in my next live stream. So, all in all, a uh, great guitar. Now, not cheap. Uh, this guitar costs a bit, but again, you get what you pay for. Right? So if you're looking for a strap, and you're a strap player, and you're looking for the ultimate strap, there's something to look for. There is another one with the single single humbucker, which I think gives you a little bit more uh, versatility because the humbucker is split, you can actually split it. But if you're looking for a traditional strat kind of sound, this is the one. Alright, let me know what you think about this guitar and leave a comment in the comment section down below. I want to hear from you. And if you like this uh, guitar uh, and you want to try it out, the guitar is available in EMEA, uh, Singapore, in the peninsula. Uh, call them up, uh, all the details are in the description box. So call them up and um, find out whether the guitar has uh, been sent back yet because this is currently at my house. So you want to try, just give them a call. Right? Look for a moose. Right? Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And press the bell for notification of future videos and be part of the patrons uh, to support this channel. I would appreciate it. I thank all my patrons for the wonderful love and the friendship and the support. Thank you so much, guys. Again, beautiful guitar. Keep on playing the guitar of yours. Right, and I'll see you real soon. Every day, Chi.